My job. Yeah. Because I believe we can change the life of people, society, and uh, we have done that uh, so many times. I think we have we can make strong impact to society. And what do you consider your greatest success? Greatest success? I think uh, every work is success. But I would say Fujikan Kindergarten we are presenting is uh, at most uh, and uh, like biggest uh, success. And uh, you know that is achievement. The achievement is not about architecture. You know, uh, we changed pedagogical field in the world. If you go anywhere in the world. People know about kindergarten, Fuji kindergarten, and they want to change the life of children. So it's not just about uh, you know design; it's a kind of message I could send throughout the world. Thanks. Uh, to date, what has been your greatest challenge? Greatest challenge? <laughs> uh, you Which know, project was the most difficult? Or? I think just uh, we are doing a big city planning. Mm. I can tell the place, but. Uh, now we are challenging to make, uh, you know, the entire city is about eight kilometers long. Wow. And once we do that, uh, I think uh, uh, we have a new way to understand the uh, uh, city. And it is not about the past, it's about the future. We are trying to connect a past to the future of the line. And uh, I used when will be ready this project? Is it work in progress? Like, it's work in progress. It's on site already. On site already. Yeah. Wow. And what is the best career decision you have ever made? Career decision? Yes. You mean uh, how we became artists, something like that? No. Well, actually, no. my life is uh, quite. What the most significant uh, part, moment of, the, of your career that's made you the change? Career. Mm. Uh, can, do I need to say just one part? One? Can I say a few? You can say a few, yes, of course. Okay. And the first uh, change is the time. My father explained to me about the structure of World Trade Center when I was 12 years old. And he tried to teach me how, how to construct the tube structure. And that made uh, my life to be active. That is a very important moment. And secondly, um, my professor told me to go to abroad. I went to university place in America. That's, That's the second reason. And next one is... Now you're teaching in America, right? No, no, no. Oh. I'm teaching in, in Japan. Japan. But sometimes I'll teach around the world. Yeah. Sometimes I teach at MIT. Sometimes I teach uh, in Europe. You know, I, I really enjoy teaching students. And do you think that it's a, a big difference between uh, uh, East European uh, student, uh, Western student, Oriental, uh, young guy that's studying in Japan, uh, American student? Uh. I think, uh, you know, we have students from uh, Sweden and Norway. They are quite hard worker and they're quite talented. And it's that difference between uh, Japanese, architect, Japanese students and uh, the Scandinavian students are is that uh, kind of emotional aspect. And the Japanese, try to, Japanese students try to make things uh, logic. So everything they are doing is uh, quite uh, easy. I can easily I, I can expect. But when I work with uh, you know you know Scandinavian students, I found that they do something unexpected. But yet they are not so practical. So just I think if we if we collaborate each other, it must be more work quite well. Okay. And uh, tell me about how you prioritize your workload. Workload. Wow. You manage and organize your skill. Managing, organizing my skill. It means uh, how I spend my time. In uh, regarding how you manage a project, like uh, how you organize and prioritize which uh, job, which project is more important. Uh, all ah, time it's not. It's, it's, it's not so easy. You know, we try to do many projects, but oh, usually, okay. usually, but usually, uh, which tools do you use? Let's say the oh yeah, 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 okay. You know, we make models. And for example, to, to design Fuji Kinect, we designed more than 2,000 models wow. as a total. 
So you started before drawing the Yes, before the drawing always make, make model. Well, whenever uh, we, our young athletes uh, try to make just drawings, I said, no, no, I don't want to see the drawings, I only see the models. How many people are working with you now? Now at this moment, 25. 25. Are mm. you with them? Yes. Mm -hmm. think but I want to increase it more. Yeah? yeah. Okay. How long will it take to increase in your, uh, at the moment of your practices? Maybe next year. Next we are going year. to be necessary. Uh, and what is your next goal? Oh, I don't make, make a goal, but I really want to make uh, some, some kind of city. That is very important. Mm -hmm. So you want to do some planning, urban planning, master planning? Well, but then when we design urban design, we design architecture as well. You know, yeah. just, you know, I, I found this urban design has very strong impact on um, yes. human life. And uh, can you tell me about a time when you have almost given up on a project? And uh, how did you feel about that? And what did you do to turn it around? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Um, uh, a time when you have almost given up on a project that you thought that was the end, that you couldn't find a solution. Okay, I tell you, I, ne I never give up. You usually, you usually. You decide to move on and keep going the project or move on and find another solution. <laughs> you know, I never give up. You know, I give up when clients fire me. So that's it. Okay. I never give up. Never, never. never. You are persistent. Mm, yeah. And uh, would you call yourself a spiritual person? And how do you maintain a good work-life balance? Well, you know, actually, I can't balance, but uh, you know, but I think it's very important to uh, keep normal life as an athlete. Because if you don't know happiness, you can't provide happiness to others. So that is what I'm telling to uh, my young athletes. You know, for example, you know, I brought one uh, young athlete to here. And she said, okay, I finished my work. I, I want to go back to Tokyo to do more work. I said, no, no, you did the good work, so you stay here. And did you, you enjoy it? Yes, 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 it's very important. Okay, thank you. Thank Bye. you.